Throughout this trial, we are going to bring you evidence. We are going to, yes, we're in Bear County, but through the evidence, through technology, through photos, through videos, and through testimony, we will take you to those dark, to that dark and horrible places that this happened. You will hear the evidence in his own words. I wanted to clean up the streets. And in Spanish he says, these people are <laughs> These <laughs> are dirt. Now, uh, one of the things we would ask you to focus on is the investigation that the Webb County Sheriff's Office uh, conducted together with the Texas Rangers. Uh, together with the report writing, the lack of reports, the lack of protocol, and how they, uh, you know, just jump to certain conclusions. And how were you able to support this addiction? Um, many ways. Um, working in the streets. Can you tell us what, what you see in front of you on States Exhibit 1? I see a white Dodge. And who does that white Dodge belong to? David. Had you been in that white Dodge before? Yeah. How many times? I don't recall how many times exactly, but plenty of times. But he would take you to the drug house? Yeah. Right? And who would pay for the drugs? David would give me money. Okay. As soon as we entered the house, David wasn't himself anymore. I saw him just not himself, very nervous. Um, how, did, how did he begin to become nervous? What were y'all, if anything, talking about? We were talking about some other stuff, then um, all of a sudden he said that he was afraid that they would check his DNA because he was second to last to be with Melissa. Before that, inside the truck, tell us about what you remember when he pulled the gun. He's trying to grab me by my left shoulder. Where did he get the gun from? Had you seen the gun? I had not seen it, no. What, if anything, did he do with the gun? He just pointed it right at me. When he pointed it at you, show the ladies and gentlemen jury where he pointed to you. Right here at my face. Can you read that for me? Just this, this part right here. Where did he? Where did he point it to? Right here, right to your chest. It's just same oh, thing. Ma'am, ma I'm just asking you. Can you read it and see what you said? To your chest, yes. And You're pointing to your chest, yes. Okay, that's all I needed to. Do. Okay. It's uh, Francisco Javier Hernandez, sir. And how are you currently employed? Uh, I'm employed with the Texas Department of Public Safety as a state trooper. I heard her um, yelling for help. I immediately noticed that she was um, in shock. Uh, her breathing was was kind of rapid, like hyperventilating. I also noticed that she was scared at that time. And um, she explained to me that she had just gotten away from a gentleman um, that pointed a gun at her. Do you know who he is? So his name is David. You only know him as David or? Yeah. Just relax. When we went in his house, he was in casa. Yeah. I started, my body, I started getting very sick. I started shaking. Yeah. We were able to enter the white building first to clear to make sure he wasn't there and then after that we ended up clearing the second building in there which was the hotel and when we cleared that hotel the, on the fourth floor was Mr. Ortiz he was found there. Okay. Did you hear uh, anyone give Mr. Ortiz his uh, Miranda warnings? I can't recall about at that time sir. But definitely you did not see anyone pat him down at the time? I know that there were patting him down. I just don't recall who or who was it, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, jury, we're going to recess for the day.
I'm going to ask for you to be here at 8.15 tomorrow morning.